Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This video is going to be a part of a training series in which we will cover the basics of cartography, which is a really important subject that any geologist needs to know. And we are going to use the software Quantum GIS. Uh, or QGIS, which is a free software that anyone can download and start using it right away. So, uh, I'm going to use the version 3.4 of the software. Okay, so when you open the software, what you will see is the main menu, a toolbar, and three panels. We've got the browser panel in which we can you can navigate your files and choose whatever you want to import to the software and a layer layers panel in which we will see all the different layer we are going to work on and the display panel where you can see visually these layers and where you can visualize these layers okay and status bar in which we see the coordinates the scale and different other informations now, some of you guys I know that are following our Facebook page and they're not, they don't speak English, so they might want to use the software in a different language. If that's the case, you can go to the settings, options, and general, and then check this one here and choose whatever language you want. There's plenty of languages here. So, and then click on OK and restart the software and the software will be loaded in that language okay so let's say that you want to see the world map here on the display panel all you have to do is to type in the world the word world in the coordinates and click on enter and this will display the world map now how to use the navigation tools I'm going to just show you the shortcuts. So, to pan, all you have to do is to left click and drag. If you want to zoom, use the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out. If you want a smoother zoom, click and hold control and zoom in or zoom out. Okay, so now we know that. The Earth is not flat unless you believe that the Earth is flat. In that case, this video is not for you. So, we know that all the maps have coordinate systems. So, and the coordinate systems have codes that we call them the EPSG codes, which me which stands for the European uh, petroleum survey group okay so for example the code 4326 stands for WGS 84 as you can see here so if I type in here 4326 we get that coordinate system now I'll give you a quick hint here so some of you guys want to use the UDM uh, projection system or coordinate system so We've got two hemispheres, the North Hemisphere and the South Hemisphere. So if you're on the North, you type in 326 and you will get all the zones that exists in the Northern Hemisphere. So you go down and you can see here that all got an N at the end. And you can see in the thumbnails here to see where is that. Uh, zone is located and we use 3 2 uh, 7 for the southern hemisphere so you choose whatever uh, coordinate system that is uh, best for your project or your location so click on OK and this one will change to whatever system you've chosen now let's add an open street uh, map layer in here so to do so you go to the XYZ tiles inside the browser panel 
all you have to do is to click and drag here to create a new layer now and you can see that we've got uh, countries in here and boundaries and stuff like that so we'll talk about that later in the second video for the moment we'll see uh, how layers works in here so the layer that is on the top is always on the top of the display panel so you can just hide this one and hide both of them or whatever layer you want to see the one on the top here is always the one on the top here to save the project all you have to do is to go to project and click on save as to specify the location or then all you have to do is to go to save to open a project go to open and probably find the recent uh, project in here okay that's it for this tutorial so see you on the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell uh, icon to get notified whenever we post something new